Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and with PlayStation Virtual Reality 2 on the horizon, Call of the Mountain. Huh? You may be wanting to know a little bit more about Sony's upcoming PS4 2 headsets. That's what this video is here for. So without any further ado, here is 10 things you need to know about the PS4 2. Number 1. The PS4 2 is Sony's next generation virtual reality headset for the PS5 console. It is the successor to the PS Viewer, which released all the way back in 2016 for the PS4. Number 2. The PS Viewer 2 headset will release on the 22nd of February 2023. Number 3. The PS Viewer 2 headset will cost you $549. 599 euro, 529 sterling, and 74,980 yen. Number four, pre-orders for the PS Viewer 2 will begin on the 15th of November. Players in the US, UK, France, Germany, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg will initially be able to pre-order PlayStation Viewer 2 solely through PlayStation's online store, direct.playstation.com. In other markets, PlayStation Viewer 2 will be sold at participating retailers, with pre-orders beginning on November 15. Information will be provided through participating local retailers in these regions. Number 5. What's in the box? If you buy a PS Viewer 2, you can expect to find the PS Viewer 2 headset in the box, two Sense controllers, and one stereo headset. Number 6. There will be one bundle available at launch for Horizon Call of the Mountain. If you buy that bundle, you'll get everything listed in the previous point, but also you'll get a voucher code for a digital copy of Horizon Call of the Mountain. However, that bundle is more expensive than the standalone headsets, costing 599 US dollars, 649 euros, 569 sterling, and 79,980 yen. Number 7. You may think the price of entry is high, but the PSVR2 headset packs a lot of impressive tech. The display is 4K, but not only that, it's OLED, meaning you'll have deeper blacks in your games. The headset includes multiple cameras to track your controllers using a method called inside-out tracking. This means you no longer need to set up an external camera and will lead to much more effective tracking than what the original PS Viewer could do. PS Viewer 2 also includes eye tracking, a feature found in only the most expensive Viewer headsets on the market. Eye tracking has many utilities for virtual reality games, but perhaps its most important function is for use in foveated rendering, meaning the PS5's processing power can focus only on the area that the player is looking at giving developers more bandwidth to work with and players more impressive titles to play with. But that's not all. The PSVR 2 headset also includes a rumble moser in the headset itself so that the player can feel bullets whizzing at their heads or a swarm of insects crawling all over their foreheads. Sprinkle in a built-in microphone, a 120Hz refresh rate and a 110 degree field of view and you have one impressive headset. Number 8. If you don't think all of that is worth the price, then don't forget about the Sense controllers. These new controllers, built specifically for PSVR 2, have a lot going on as well. You'll find not only the same haptic feedback and adaptive triggers you would on a DualSense controller, but also finger touch detection for more realistic gesturing and inputs, as well as an array of infrared LEDs that allow for far more precise tracking. Number 9. The PSVR 2 is wired. Now this may come as a disappointment to many Quest players out there, but the PSVR 2 requires a single USB-C cord to be connected to the front of the PS5 in order to function. But what you lose in freedom, you gain in performance, title quality, and not needing to wear a power supply on your head. The cord is estimated to be between 4.5 and 5 meters in length according to previewers. Number 10. What good is a VR headset without games? So let's talk about those. The PSVR 2 is set to receive a decent mixture of both new games exclusive to the PSVR, ports from other VR headsets, and also upgrades to existing PSVR titles that will improve them and allow them to be played on a PSVR 2. Many of those upgrades being free if you already own them. So let's dig into the confirmed titles. Firewall Ultra, Horizon, Call of the Mountain, Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil 4 Remake, The Dark Pictures Switchback Vior, Crossfire Sierra Squad, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2, Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, 
No Man's Sky, Demio, The Light Brigade, Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue, Pistol Whip VR, Cities VR Enhanced Edition, Cosmonius High, Zenith The Last City, Tentacular, After the Fall, Jurassic World Aftermath Collection. Now the following titles have not been confirmed by Sony themselves but by the developers and this list was compiled by RoadToVR.com. Affected The Asylum, Aliens VR, Alvo, Afterlife VR, Among Us VR, Black Top Hoops, Black Trail, Distortion VR, Do Not Open, Engram, Firmament, The Exorcist Legion VR, Sin, Galaxy Carts, Ghostbusters VR, Ghosts of Tabor, Golf Plus, Green Hell VR, Grimlord, Hellsplit Arena, Hubris, Hypestacks, Kayak VR Mirage, Lo-Fi, Madison, Medieval Dynasty, Mixture, Pavlov, Project Louisiana The Bounds VR, Propagation Paradise Hotel, Requisition, Runner, Samurai Slaughterhouse, Shadowgate VR The Minds of Mythrock, Souls of Kiru, Super Kit to the Top, The Twilight Zone VR, Ultra Wings 2, Volcanic Core, Wandering in Space, and The Swordsman VR. That's quite a list. And there you have it, 10 things you need to know about the PS VR 2. If you found this helpful, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. If you want to see more PSVR 2 coverage, then subscribe. Let me know in the comments if I forgot to mention something about the PSVR 2 that you think is important. Thanks for watching and thanks to Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. Check out his new three track album, Screaming Earth, out now at Decepticon.com. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, please stay nice and moist.